hello friends welcome back friends in this tutorial we are going to talk about what are the spot instances and how spot instances differs from the normal instances so basically spot instances are nothing but these are ec2 instances which enables us to leverage or use the unused compute capacity in the cloud see uh, we all know like there are lots of regions and zones etc for the aws or across the cloud so there could be some of the compute capacity that could be say reserved or you know that is available or that is not used so using spot instances this is basically kind of stock market like we can bid on some of the price which we call as a stock price and whenever that the it's basically demand and supply uh, mechanism so whenever it's matching the price is matching to whatever we have bid for then the we, we can get the spot instances okay so basically using the spot instances we can get up to 90 percent of discount as compared to the prices of the on-demand instances so where we can use it basically so basically say when our applications are flexible enough or say those are fault tolerant applications are there or the, for the testing purpose basically we can use it so here one thing is if the instance is terminated by aws then we don't need to pay for the charges say the instance has been terminated we are we have bid for the spot instances and we got it that capacity and we start using it however aws has say uh, terminate seats in that case we no longer need to pay for the uh, that usage However, if we ourselves terminate for that uh, you know, instance, then in that case we need to pay for it. Okay. So as I was mentioning, we can bid for the prices of for the instances similar to the stock market. Once the prices matches with the demand, then we get the instances. So in this case, when we are using spot instances, like AWS can give us a warning one or two minutes before terminating the instances. So hence, if we are doing some application testing or say those uh, applications where those are fault tolerant or we can you know we need to ensure okay using spot instances that instance may get terminate at any point of time so if we have such kind of application then we can use this kind of spot instances we will see in the demonstration lecture like in the demo today how we can use the capacity okay. then there is something called a spot block Basically, spot block can be used to stop instances from being terminated even when the spot price goes over the price that we have bid for. Say, for example, consider like uh, say for three dollar, I have bid the price of the spot instances. Say with the three dollar at the price, and the price goes up say for three point five or four dollar. Even if I use the spot block, we can avoid the uh, or we can stop the instances from being terminated. However, please note the spot block is valid from only from one of one hour to six hours so using this uh, time frame only with this validity only we can use the spot block anything going beyond this then we can't avoid or stop our instances from being terminated when we are using the spot instances then one more thing which is called a spot fleet so this is a collection of spot instances and it's optionally on demand instances as well so mainly spot instances ensures or, sp or spot split ensures to maintain the target capacity if spot instances are terminated say uh, we have using spot instances we uh, are aiming to get five instances so that will be called, called as a split the fleet of five instances and this split will maintain the target capacity say uh, if out of those five say one or two instances are get, getting terminated then spot split will be able to maintain the target capacity so it will ensure okay always five instances are there in its split if that is has been if that has been designed uh, accordingly so let's see how we can use the spot instances in the aws let me log in here. I have already logged into the AWS management console. You can see the console here and this is the EC2 main page. Once you go down here you can see spot request. If you click on this. Yeah, now you can see this there was one fleet I already requested. Okay, So if we want to get some spot uh, capacity then I can click on request spot instances 
so the page will be open like this one so the first thing in that will be the launch parameter basically it gives us two options either we need to manually configure the launch parameters or to use the launch template basically launch template may be when we can uh, since we have not provided yet it's kind of template where we will specify what type of instance we need how many instances and what will be type vcpus memory etc and that will be a ready made template so that we can use since we don't have our uh, launch template right now we can continue with the manual for uh, configure launch parameters okay here the second thing will be amis so basically amis will be uh, as we all know it's amazon machine image this will be a type of image so it gives us the option uh, which all instances you know which type of ami we need to as a spot instances so i will click on this one microsoft windows server yeah if yeah so once this is done if we go down you can see some additional launch parameter which are optional say here it's ebs optimized so basically if we enable the ebs so we can get you know ebs storage and uh, there yeah, you can see here enables additional and dedicated throughput between amazon ec2 and amazon ebs so we can get improved performance with the ebs if i click this one with this button monitoring we can enable cloudwatch detail monitoring for this one so that will be data will be available in 1 minutes of period so that is called as detailed monitoring by default we all know it's by default we get the monitoring every 5 minutes but with the detailed monitoring that can be every 1 minute we can get okay tenancy we can specify whether we need to run on a shared hardware or a dedicated one then if you go down security groups everything we can specify so for example if i click the default security group then uh, rest of the option i will unchange so we can change it as per our requirement if we want a bootstrap script say something we need it to be launched as part of the launch or boot process then we can follow it uh, you know to type it here let me create a type or that name spot spot Either instance should be instances need to be called as for instances. Okay. If we further go down, here you can see the target capacity, and on the right side there are instances, VCPs or memory. So based on instances or VCP or memory, we can specify how much capacity, compute capacity we need. Say for example, I have type it here as five. So if I want five instances, five spot instances to be created, I will go with the five and will, you know leave the instances by default here. Otherwise, I can select VCP and memory as well. But for now, I will leave five instances like that. And if we click the maintain target capacity, so it will automatically replace the interrupted spot instance that we were mentioning. Like spot instances, uh, spot fleet ensures there is always target capacity. maintain if i click this button it will always ensure the five instances are there always running even the spot instance has been terminated one or two spot instances you can see interval behavior yeah if it gets terminated then we can specify okay maintain five or say if i uh, specify stop so in this case whenever one of the instance gets stopped it will ensure that another instance is available and always five whatever the target capacity here is specified okay yeah. we will leave the other default buttons as it is availability zones we can specify okay instance type requirement yeah here we can type what type of instances we need say in terms of vcpu and memory i uh, say if i want to ensure One minimum one GB of VCP should be there. One VCP and maximum say I'll specify ten VCPs per instance. Then in terms of memory, again I will uh, type it here as one. If there should be minimum one GB of memory. Maximum say sixteen GB of memory should be there. 
so basically this will be kind of criteria or basis of which whenever it matches the requirement it the we get the the price then in terms of allocation strategy there are three things here capacity optimized lowest price and diversified so diversified you know some of the regions has diversified capacity some are not having that so you can see it's grayed out it's not applicable in this case however the recommended capacity uh, recommended one strategy is capacity optimized here you can see information like launch spot instances optimally based on the available spot capacity and the number of instances that are launched yeah. so either we can go with the capacity optimized or the lowest price if we click the lowest price it will see like launch spot instances from the lowest price instance pool so it will uh, no see here you can see there are 14 in matching instance type three availability zones okay like that so and here i can see the estimated hourly capacity what will be estimated hourly capacity as as well as the uh, what are the cost savings so if i go with this one lowest price uh, we can see 36% savings compared to on demand okay uh, if we go with the capacity optimized again you can see yeah there are some uh, matching instance types and availability zone so uh, if i click or uh, create on this button okay. it's giving an error the name the tag name is and now again if i try to Yeah, you can see the request has been submitted. If we click on that request, you can see the details. So this is basically the request ID, maximum price. You can see one dollar is the maximum price. Okay, and here you can see total target capacity. So we have requested for five instances. Out of this, only zero has been fulfilled. So whenever the price matches to one dollar for this criteria, we will get the spot uh, instances. you can see the more details if you go down okay. you can see the status as pending fulfillment and yeah we have zero instances because nothing has been launched right now and in the saving we can see once the instance has been allocated since right now there are only zero instances like there is no instance has been allocated hence it's and giving us a zero Uh, and once we get the capacity, then we can see here what are the savings are here. Okay. Scaling, scaling, auto scaling. These are types of scaling that we can do for this. Okay. So, guys, I hope you got the point. We can use the spot instances to use the unused capacity. So, say you want to test something. There are some, you know, uh, like uh, uh, some applications which are small problem. In that case, you can use the spot instances. Yeah. to summarize we discussed like uh, we can say up to 90% we can get up to 90% of discount as compared to the prices of the on demand instances if you want something to test or something say for ci cd pipeline or for the application development purpose with the flexible application then we, uh, surely we can go with the spot instances we can bid for the prices like the same like the share market do and we can make use of use of that and once that is done then you can either terminate or aws will terminate the instance in that case if instance gets terminated when you are using it then if it's terminated by aws then we no longer need to pay for the charges however if we terminate the uh, that spot instances then we have to pay for the charges okay and yeah we have also seen what is the spot block so basically spot block is nothing but it's a mechanism that we can use from 1 to 6 hours to stop the instances being terminated even when amazon has given us the warning that it will terminate the instance so we can make use of the spot block to avoid the stoppage for 1 to 6 hours and we have also discussed what is the spot click so spot click is nothing but It's a collection of spot instances and it's optionally on-demand instances. 
and once using spot instances it will ensure to maintain the target capacity we so we have seen there was a button there so if we click on that it will ensure minimum those number of target capacity instances say for example five in our case so it will ensure always find spot instances keep running uh, using the spot grid so friends that's it for today this was a uh, short lecture covering on spot instances in the ec2 uh, if you like, if you have any queries, then write me, uh, write down in the comment section below. Please like, share, comment, and subscribe to my YouTube channel, friends. And thanks for your, thanks for watching. Take care, bye bye.